Hi everybody, it's Hazel with Psychic Vision. I'm here today with a special Valentine's Day tarot card spread. So, full disclaimer, if you feel that this reading doesn't suit you, it is a general reading on how to turn up the heat in your love life. So if you feel that it doesn't um, fit your life, I do welcome you to come to my page and ask for this reading on a more personal level. So you don't miss me, you can sign up for a notification when I do sign up online. And with that being said, let's get down to the spread itself. The first card is how to feel more desirable. And the sun card, it personifies happiness and fulfillment in all areas of your life. So on the face of this card, the sun is shining down, offering warmth and happiness to all that feel it. Look towards the sun card as an indicator to everything that is going right for you. So when you feel at your best emotionally, physically, and psychologically, you attract more of the same into your love life. So to feel more desirable, you want to feel your healthiest on an emotional, physical, and psychological level. The second card represents what puts a damper on your love life, and it did come up as the star. The star card, if you're feeling lost, um, the impractical, impractical side of this card took you to a place that did not fit in well with everyday um, realities. So the star can indicate that you're feeling hopeless. Perhaps the difficult situations you've been through in the past have drained you of your lust for life and your faith in the universe is planned for you. The star does not indicate that things are not that things are hopeless, only that you feel they are. So this is what is putting a damper on your love life and why you feel that you can't move forward. The third card would represent the climax or what helps you reach your full potential in your relationships. And the Three of Cups is a card of community, friendship, harmonious relationships, being optimistic, celebrating life, socializing, festivities, and accomplishments. This card's positive message is about the magic of shared feelings and emotions, of letting your emotions and their limits be known. So with the Three of Cups, it asks you to celebrate your friendships, um, enjoy and celebrate life. And this is going to be the highest point um, for you in your love life. Enjoy your love life. If you're not enjoying it or it's not fun, then you're probably with the wrong person. The fourth card is representing an action step, like what action should I take and how to add the sizzle into your current relationship? Or if you're single, how do I add sizzle into my love life? The 10 of swords indicates an end of or a failure of communication. So someone has been silenced. <clears throat> or they're not talking. Um, lovers is all about a psychic choice. So it's about finding someone you can communicate with so perfectly that you don't have to say a word to them um, and you know what they're all about. So with the Ten of Swords, it's telling you to put an end to this bad or failed communication you've had in the past in order to add a type of you know, sizzle or ignition to your love life. Um, you want to be open with your emotions and don't fear hiding how you feel for somebody. The Ten of Cups is the last card and it's how to attract a lover. The Ten of Cups denotes feeling happily ever after. So this is a feeling of completion and having found the perfect partner and possibly raising some children together. So the Ten of Cups brings happiness, good times, joy, and contentment. You have the power to bring these blessings, in, blessings into your life and into the lives of people you care about as well. Now is the time to share that love and happiness that you're experiencing with those closest to you. Continue the chain of luck and joy. Drama-free romance is what you're, wait, is what you're wanting to attract here. And it's about creating stable emotions and attracting how you see your perfect lover. 
So the Ten of Cups is telling you how you attract your perfect lover is by imagining the perfect lover, the perfect life. Once you start man, once you start setting that out into the world as an intention, then you're returned that. Um, what you give out is what you attract, basically. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Again, I'm Hazel with Psychic Vision. If you miss me online, just sign up for a notification. It'll let you know when I am available. All right? Have a blessed night and happy Valentine's Day.